Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. So in this video it is going to be another violin review video and it's been a little while since I've done one of these on my channel. In fact, probably about a year. And I have been sent three more violins from the Fiddler Man to review. But these are very different to the violins that I was sent previously because these are a lot higher in his range and therefore they cost a little bit more money. So the three violins that I'm going to be reviewing are going to be the Holstein Traditional, the Holstein Workshop and the Holstein Bench. I'm going to be doing individual violin reviews for each of these violins of course, plus I'm going to be doing two comparison videos. So I'm going to be comparing the traditional to the workshop and then the workshop to the bench. All of these videos will be linked underneath each video in the description bar as per usual. So this review is going to be the Workshop Canon Violin and this sits in at number two out of the three violins that I'm going to be reviewing. The price of this is $2,100 and this does come in other variations as well. So this is the Holstein Workshop but this is the Holstein Workshop Canon or Canon and I'll put up some other variations on the screen that you can see now but essentially they're all going to be pretty much the same. They're all going to be the same, you know, based on the, the same replica of violin. That's the whole point of these. But each one is just going to have a slightly different sound or a slightly different tone to them. So this one, in my opinion, is quite deep and dark and mellow, as is, as is pretty much all three of them, actually. These all obviously seem to be the most popular violins, which is why they've sent them to me. And I do get asked quite a lot if I can recommend any deep, dark and mellow, rich, velvety, that, you know, all that kind of area. I do get asked if I can recommend any of those violins. And those violins are quite difficult to come by, especially at a lower price range. They just don't exist at a lower price, price range because you just you just can't make them for that kind of price but definitely in this kind of price bracket then yes you can definitely get those types of violins the deeper the darker the richer and the more mellowy ones that seem to be more popular over the sweeter and the brighter which is kind of the, the sort of tone that I prefer I do prefer something much sweeter in in my violin but that's that's all just personal preference so it's definitely worth checking out the other variations and I'll put links directly underneath this video to check out them. So because you're spending a lot more money and we're now going into more of the higher end violins, these do not come with bows or bottle cases or anything like that. They just come packaged up in a box. For such a high end violin, you wouldn't expect it to come with anything. You would, you would expect to go ahead and purchase your violin and then you would then you would be expected to purchase a bow separately or keep with the bow that you've got or you know whatever violins like these don't come with cases and they don't come with with bows I mean this this is readily ready to play out of the box the bridge comes already up it's all very well protected uh, they even tuned it before they sent it to me so this is coming all the way from the US to me in the UK so it was pretty well tuned actually and it stayed pretty well in tune I just had to tweak it a little bit but it's as I say it just it just comes like this so the bow I'm going to be demonstrating with today is my own bow that I use all the time this is a Pernambuco bow um, you know this this is this is my bow that I use all the time so if you bought a violin like this then you would just be expected to use your your own bow but if I were you, I would upgrade to a much nicer bow because it doesn't really seem to be any point in having a really nice violin that can do all those really nice high-end techniques and this, that and the other, uh, but you're just playing it on a bow that just can't keep up with the quality of the violin. You will see some tech specs that have just come up on the screen, but if you want some more information, then you can uh, head over to the Fiddlerman website uh, I'll put a link to this file in underneath so you can head over to there and just check out the website and all the other bits of information that are on there regarding this file in. I should add as well that this is a two piece back. Um, it doesn't really matter whether it's a one or a two piece back, honestly, um, it really doesn't bother me. I've said this before, people have done scientific tests and it really doesn't matter whether it's a one or a two piece back. It shouldn't really bother you whether it does have a one or a two piece back and there's, there's no evidence to suggest that a one or a two piece back is better or worse than the other. It's just, this is just how it happens to come. But I thought it worth mentioning because I know a lot of you do like to know that piece of information. 
Alrighty then, I'm going to be playing a couple of pieces due to demonstrate the sound of the violin. I'm going to be recording it professionally as I did with the other videos using my condenser microphone into my studio program. I'm not going to be touching anything with the sound at all, so I'm not going to be compressing, adding any, any EQ, anything like that, nothing to alter the sound. I literally just want to pick up the sound of the microphone and whatever is coming out of the violin. So moving on to my thoughts and opinions, how it looks, how it feels, how it's made. Um, it looks really nice, there's no denying that. The finish of this is really nice and the finish of this uh, is definitely up there in terms of, you know, those those antique looking violins, very similar to my, my violin that I use all the time, which is an antique violin around about 1800s to 1850. So it's very, very similar to that. I mean, these are replicas anyway, so these are based on a lot of those old kind of um, 1800s, uh, 18th century, 1700 violins anyway. So the look of it is is really nice. I want to talk about the varnish as well. So on this, it's a, it's a hand painted oil varnish according to their website, but it does have quite a shiny look about it. You can see as it's reflecting on there. Again, this has absolutely no bearing on the tone or the sound or anything like that. Um, but I know in some of the comments from previous violins that I've reviewed, some of you, um, some of you do question that. It does come up in the comments, and some of you like the look of this varnish, and some of you don't like the look of this varnish. So, as I said, I mean, it's not. If you like the sound of the violin, that the varnish or anything like that wouldn't be a reason not not to buy it. It would just sort of be more down to the aesthetics. Uh, rather than you know down to sound or anything, but I still wouldn't not buy this violin if I really really really, really like the sound of it and it was in my price range, um, this that and the other. But you know may maybe I didn't like the shininess of the varnish that absolutely wouldn't put me off buying this. But I just thought it worth a mention anyway. Moving to the back, as I said, there is a two piece back. It doesn't really make a blind bit of difference whether it's one or two piece. You know it it just is a two piece, but I don't think it affects anything. So overall, it's it's a really nice um, it's it's a really nice violin. The bridge is a superior Despial bridge, and the bridge is cut really nicely as well. The bridge is nice and thin, uh, which always looks good. That's not going to come out on camera, but the, the bridge looks very 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 well made and really nice and thin, which means you're going to get. Um, a much nicer tone with it when you've got those thick clumpy bridges you don't get very nice tones with them at all so who this violin is for i i mean i think it's for anybody really um it, probably not something I, I would recommend to a complete beginner unless you've got deep pockets and you've got the money to pay for it then absolutely why not of course the better the violin you get as a beginner, the better your, your road to playing the violin is gonna be and the smoother it is and all this, that and the other. I would say this violin is 
for someone who's been playing a little while, for someone who's looking to upgrade, someone who wants to take it seriously, and I'm not necessarily talking as a professional career like me, for example, but just somebody want, who wants to take the violin a little bit more seriously than they, they, they already are, somebody who wants to up their game in their violin, someone who wants just, you know, that, that final violin just to take them to the finish line, you know? So this violin will, will definitely, definitely do that for you. And I think for the money, I think it's a great bit of kit. Sound wise, this is definitely quite deep and quite mellow and quite rich. Very, very, very deep and rich on the, the G string for sure and I know a lot of people like that especially those of you who are maybe twin between the violin and the viola or maybe you just prefer a much deeper kind of sound a lot of people always ask me in the comments Alison do you know of a violin that's got a really nice deep mellow sound yes I do these ones in fact all three of these violins that I'm going to be reviewing from this collection that I've been sent have a much deeper, mellower, richer kind of sound to them rather than being sweeter and bright, which is what my current, my, my regular violin sounds like, just as a kind of comparison. However, if you want deep, dark, rich and mellow, you've got to pay for it and they don't come cheap, but you know, that's what these instruments are for. So stick around to see the other reviews of the other two violins, because I know you're going to love them and then you can make a decision as to which one you want to treat yourself to and all of those links are going to be in the description bar underneath this video so i hope you have found this uh, violin review helpful to you and i will see you in my next video bye